finally back in Boise. So I've just come into the bedroom here. Let me ask you, what would you think of this if you come home knowing that your girlfriend's been here the whole time? And you see a camera now on a tripod in the bedroom that wasn't there before. Sunshine! How come there's a, a camera in the bedroom on a tripod? Um, well, be, I was trying to video myself. Well, what were you filming in there? <laughs> uh, I cut apart one of my one of my outfits. And I was going to film a deconstruction piece. Does that sound truthful? <laughs> it's true! It sounds like a lot of bollocks. Yeah, I also have a porno video <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Stay tuned. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> I'm Chris Gethin. I'm going to be training to prepare for an Ironman. I'm giving myself six months, and we're going to do it. Good morning. It is day 149 here. I was supposed to film in the Jeep, but I totally forgot, so I'm filming now. Uh, it's leg day today. We did arms yesterday. My arms, even though we trained them only like 12 hours ago, my biceps are friggin' hurting hard already. So I'm glad that we started with the very heavy, easy bar curls to begin with. And I'm glad I used some control cheating in my movement so I could get some extra negatives in there. And of course to antagonize the haters out there as well. Look at that beautiful moon. Don't know if you can see that. It's kind of orange because there's a lot of bushfires out here at the moment. A lot of people miss out on legs and they don't take legs as seriously. Leg workouts are never as popular. So this really separates the men from the boys. Sometimes you have to do the hard yards in order to get the results that you really want. It's just a short term pain. Just think about that. The pain is very, very short term. Grit your teeth, grab the ball by the horns and just fucking go for it. So that's it, we're done. Now usually, if you can, Go and do your bike workout right now while you've got fatigued legs. Myself, I'm gonna be doing it later because I had an invite from the guys at Tritown asking if I wanted to join their threshold uh, workout. I've never been invited by this exclusive club before, so I feel quite special and I'm not gonna turn that down even if I do have my ass handed to me. That's kind of what I sign up for and that's what I like. I want my ass to be handed to me. You know, it's a reality check and it shows you how much room that you have to grow. Good morning, kids. It is day 150. It's a Wednesday. That was the toughest ride I've personally done. It was a walk in the park for them, I'm sure. 23 miles in 66 minutes was a lot for me. It was, I averaged 21 miles an hour. It was tough, but it was good. Yeah, it's a good um, gut check, see what you're made of. It's good to put yourself through a test like that every now and again, I'm sure. But I'm glad I went at this time within my training because if they'd asked me a couple of months ago, I really would have embarrassed myself. Today is supposed to be a non-training day. However, I'm training. You take the day off. I am training though because I'm going away on Friday. So I'm going to head on up to Stanley, Redfish Lake again and just detox my brain a little because I've been getting a little bit stressed, a little bit anxious lately. So I'm gonna go up there by myself and uh, create a little mini triathlon. When did I injure my shoulder? September last year. I obviously haven't been on this machine. I don't get any discomfort on my delts when I do this. <laughs> you know. Your week is pissed today. I 
haven't been in a wetsuit for a couple of weeks now, so I need to obviously get back into it as I've only got like two weeks until the Ironman. But you get used to it very quickly after a couple of weeks, it feels normal. Back into the wetsuit we are, back in Quinn's Pond. Hopefully we won't get any E. coli, so I'll come out in one piece and not with like three eyes or something. All right, it is day 150 and I'm sorry yet again, I haven't refilmed anything today. I'm a bad boy. So um, what I coulda, shoulda, woulda filmed for you was uh, I went to Elevate Publishing, but then I did a lot of fi filming of uh, some great cage muscle content this afternoon. So then we went to Barbacoa, which is a beautiful restaurant here and I had an awesome steak meal and salmon meal. And now this is something that you generally don't see in any of my video series. It's me having dessert. And Sunshine's got the same here. So we've got some non-fat, non-fat frozen yogurt here with a little bit of peanuts, a little bit of strawberry, a little bit of blueberry, and uh, a whole lot of flavor, y'all. It's not that good. Isn't it? Yeah, shit. Muscles are feeling just a little bit dry. Make sure that we finish this video trainer injury free. So sometimes you have to kind of go by your instincts. Making sure that we take a little bit more time resting in between these supersets because we're hitting two large muscle groups. So in between these recovery sessions, I'm either gonna be foam rolling, working on my mobility, or something along those lines. We'll see how I feel. So obviously just finished the back and chest session and uh, lost the videographers back there a while because I'm not going on any roads, not too keen on roads. Whew. I like hitting the paths. So uh, just going at a steady pace here, throwing in a couple of faster pace sections in just for say, 400 meters or so and pulling it back to a nice steady pace again it's just to kind of get used to pushing a little bit pulling back as if I'm to hit a slight incline or have to overtake someone should that ever happen Whew. man this is a beautiful way to do my cardio I've really enjoyed this journey it's been a lot of self-exploration Hey guys, it is day 152 and I'm no longer in Boise. I have just made it up here to Stanley in Idaho, which is uh, the backdrop to the Sawtooth Mountains. You can see just a little bit over there. And uh, this is where I have decided to come by myself and uh, spend some time having a little bit of R&R, &R, catching up with a little bit of work, uh, but mainly reading, I hope. And, um, participating in what, what I'd call my long course. So I do have a conference call here today. Do work doesn't stop even though I do go away. So I'm gonna go into this, uh, uh, sit outside this cafe because I know that I get good connection there. And then I plan on going for a swim. I'm gonna go to Redfish Lake, head in there for my swim and do as much as I can for some R&R &R after that. And then prepare for a big bike ride tomorrow which will be the Saturday, and then go for a run on the Sunday. And uh, on my own terms and my own schedule, hopefully everything will be fine and everything will go as planned. And here you have it. I just finished my swim. 4,000 yards, so 2.4 miles swim, I think that is. Exactly what I need to do in the Ironman. And it took me an hour and a half. It, took a little bit longer than anticipated. I was hoping to get it in an hour and 20, but like halfway through the swim, a crazy storm just come down. Don't know if you can see, it's very, very choppy. 
and windy and it's raining. I get this thunder uh, happening out here. And uh, yeah, become really, really choppy on the way back. So I was really swimming against a current. Never really done anything like that in a lake before. Definitely gonna get some food and hydration in me now. I'm gonna check into the, the uh, cabin that I've got here. You can see where these goggles have been. This isn't really good for bags, is it? So I'm in my room and the first thing that I, that I did was get everything ready for tomorrow morning. I've got uh, glutamine, BCAA, BCAAs, and HydroCharge. My top, my lovely shorts, my helmet, my heart rate monitor to go with my Garmin. I've got the uh, energy balls that Sunshine made there. And here I'm gonna be, I've got loads. I got four of these protein bars from Nutrition Solutions. And I've also got some pancakes that I'll be taking too. And uh, so I'm just gonna sit down and read this book. This is another book, this is probably like my 30 odd book now that I've read on triathlon. Like I said, I'm just submerging myself. And it's all about this story of this uh, guy named Dale who gave himself a year to prepare for an Ironman. He had completed several half Ironmen, um, I think two half Ironmen before, a uh, couple of marathons, several half marathons. Like I've come from a complete nothing bodybuilder uh, to go straight into this in six months so when I'm when I so far I'm reading how much training he was doing it's unbelievable like the runs are very commonly 15 miles he would commonly do a century 80 to century rides and on the Saturdays there was a gym facility near him uh, that did three hour spin classes on a Saturday so we do the three hour spin class and follow that up with uh, a 12 mile run. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of volume. I'm not doing half of that, half of that. And that's exactly what I want to show you guys, that you can complete this Ironman with a lot of muscle, with much more efficiency and saving on time and stress on your body if you play it smart. Taking me approximately three hours and 40 minutes to reach here. I'm 55 miles in and I've just reached the outskirts of Ketchum, which is joined on to Sun Valley and Haley. Uh, often I will just come here in the winter snowboarding, not so much in the summer. But anyway, here I am, first time cycling to Sun Valley for sure. So I'm nearing the top of what's called uh, Galena Summit. I think it's about eight and a half thousand feet of climbing. So uh, being, I don't know if you could see a road all the way down there that we climbed up and the road continues up over this summit. So this is a meditation church that I've been to several times. What I really like about it is that um, you can call a number which gives you the code to access it and there's nobody in here. Nobody in here, which is exactly what I like. You don't have to think about anything else about except being present here. It makes me think as well, you know, I'm not thankful enough. I don't, I don't, like I've got a lot to be thankful for, a lot to be thankful for but I don't recognize it. It's very easy, you know, when you've got a very, very busy lifestyle that you just become so anxious, so tied up, especially with the training as well, that you don't sit back and have time to chill out. Just wanted to come up here and kind of recognize it. 